Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining us today. This video tutorial is all about georeferencing an image in AutoCAD. So to do just that, you make sure your unit is set up accurately on your AutoCAD work environment. After you set up your unit, then you go to Google Earth Pro to download the imagery of your study area. So this is my region of interest on Google Earth Pro. So you can download from Google Earth Pro or other source that is reliable. So to download the imagery, the first thing to do is to mark out a set of control points on the imagery. So to your reference an image on AutoCAD, you need nothing less than two control points. Therefore, on your Google Earth Pro, you will have to mark out the set of control points as well as extract the coordinates of those points. So to do just that, you will come to the place mark icon, you will click on that, then you, I'm going to move this sideways, then I prefer using this location icon, it gives me an advantage to accurately choose the coordinates of my point. So I'm going to set my location icon as that then you can see this is the coordinate of this point so i'm just going to sparsely distribute the coordinates so i'll be leaving it here at this region all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to copy out these coordinates and plot it on autocad as my set of control points so i'll copy the eastings then come to my work environment then you come to your command line then you type po then you click on enter so you are going to put the instance of the control points comma then i am going to extract the notings of my control points then i'm going to click on enter so that point has been plotted okay so quickly you have to set up your point style okay you will come to point style then you can use any point size of interest then set it as absolute units then okay so when you are done with the first control point you are expected to rename so i'm going to rename this as p1 that is point one that is my control point and i'm going to click on okay so that particular point is one of the control points I'll be using in AutoCAD to georeference my image. All right. So the next thing is to mark out another control point. So make sure it is fastly distributed and I'm going to set it here. Okay. Then I'm going to rename it as P2. Then I'm going to extract the coordinate and plot it on AutoCAD. So you are expected to do the same as you are seeing on the screen. So you come to your command line, PO, click on enter, then you paste the instance comma, then extract the nothings, then you paste the nothings, then you plot, click on enter. So I'm going to zoom extent. So these are the two control points p1 and p2 respectively so when i'm done with that i'm going to come to my google earth pro then i'm going to click on ok so you are expected to click on ok and save the control points you have extracted on google earth all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to download this imagery so please check under the video description to see on how to download an imagery on Google Earth Pro okay so I will just quickly skip that and uh, show you on how to import the imagery on AutoCAD then I am going to navigate to the folder where I have my Google Earth imagery that has been downloaded and here it is YouTube on the screen so to import this image on AutoCAD you have to click on it then you drag it into the AutoCAD work environment. Okay, mate. Okay, where you are working on. 
so as you can see we are expected to drop it somewhere outside of the control point then you have to click on the session point so you can click on anywhere on your screen the screen then you activate the auto mode then make sure you increase the imagery to a reasonable size okay so as you can see this is the imagery here and um, and the control points is being marked on the imagery p1 and p2 respectively so we are going to georeference this imagery as you can see it is not on the control point that was plotted initially so we are going to be using the align command in the course of this video to georeference in AutoCAD so you go to your command line then you type align then you click on enter so it will prompt you to select objects you will come to the imagery then you click on it then you click on enter on your keyboard then the next prompt is to select the first source point so the first source point is the first control point all right so this that we are doing is to reference it you will click on the first control point on your imagery then you can deactivate the auto then you will click on the p1 that was plotted on autocad initially then you click on that so the next prompt is to click on the second source point as you are seeing on the screen then you have to navigate to where you have your p2 the second control point marked you click on it then you click on the p2 coordinate plotted on autocad so you can actually choose a third source point but in the course of this video we do not need that then you click on enter all right on your keyboard so when you click on enter it will tell you to scale object based on alignment point then you click on yes so guys this is just how to do reference on autocad so i'm going to zoom extent and you are going to see the points at their respective positions or to scale or to the control point then i'm going to make this imagery to be back you click on the imagery you right click then the draw order you send it back so that we can see the point overlay on it so as you can see this is the first point here then this is the second point here okay all to their respective positions all right so that is how to do reference on autocad please if you have watched this video to this extent do it to hit on the subscribe icon as well as like to keep getting more educative tutorial guides on autocad tricks and guides thank you so we are just quickly going to do a precision check on this imagery to see if everything is well accurate so let's quickly measure the length of this beauty which is on google earth directly by coming to show ruler here okay all right you activate the line and you make your unit to be meters so we are just going to measure the length of this beauty from this edge to this edge all right so the length is 26.19 we are going to measure the same length on autocad directly so this is giving here okay so we are going to measure by going to utilities go to measure click on distance then the tool will be activated to measure from here to to here okay so what we are having is 26.197 so what we have on autocad is 26.197 and what we have on google earth is 26.19 so you can see how precise the imagery is on autocad so therefore you can do your analysis you can digitize features do a whole lot of analysis on this imagery without issues thank you for watching do it to hit on the subscribe icon and share to keep getting more valuable content on this channel thank you see you next time